New game reveals, big new trailers, and SS Creed Shadows gameplay. Summer Game Fest is going to be really fun. Here are all the big things you can expect at the Xbox show, the Ubisoft Ford, and the kickoff show, and also what will not be at the event. I want to start with the Xbox showcase on June 9th, because I have some pretty high hopes for this one. Of course, at the end of that show, they will do a Black Ops 6 deep dive for if you're curious. I mostly want to focus on the main show though. For one, it seems like they will announce new hardware because we heard about a discless Xbox Series X for some time now, but it might not look like the one we saw during the FTC trial. Instead, it might be a white Xbox Series X, but then without the disk drive, which is not as exciting. Last year, they announced the 1TB Series S, so again, I totally think it makes sense to announce more hardware this year. And we know that Xbox is also working on a controller with PS5 DualSense capabilities. This could also be announced. The most exciting rumor though is about an Xbox handheld that can hopefully natively play Xbox Game Pass games and maybe stream ones that it cannot play. That would be really cool. But of course, in general, it will be about games and Xbox already has a pretty solid 2024 lineup and we might see more games that will already be out this year. Indiana Jones is totally the biggest exclusive they got. I know not everyone likes the first person perspective, but I'm open for a different type of action adventure game and I fully trust machine games from the Wolfenstein series to deliver something brilliant. Should be out in December with Avowed before that in November and this will be an important moment to get more people interested in that action RPG because the previous like showing during the developer direct was not that exciting. Stalker 2 should also be out soon, so totally expecting a new trailer. I did not really like what I played at Gamescom last year, but hopefully the extra year did the game good. The Starfield the Shattered Space DLC is also seemingly planned for September. It will feature brand new story, locations, gear and more. I would like a good reason to come back to the game, although the land vehicles Bethesda is working on won't likely make it in time. We know Diablo 4 is also getting a big expansion at the end of the year called Vessel of Hatred with a new region a new class that we've not seen before in the Diablo franchise and way way more so totally expecting that at the Xbox show as well new rumors indicate that there's also a shadow drop in the cards for an Xbox exclusive game would be cool if it's for a clockwork revolution or a south of midnight that we saw revealed at last year's Xbox show although those games still seem maybe a bit far away would be cool to get new trailers for those though. Now if there's a shadow drop it's likely for 33 immortals where you need to make sure that as many players reach the end of a dungeon to face a final boss. A pretty cool concept but it just had a closed beta so also feels like it's still at least a few months away. Now most people point towards this shadow drop potentially being Towerborn, the new action RPG from the Banner Saga creators with up to 4 player co-op and a big post launch plant. I think it looks really awesome and yeah having this shadow drop might get more people interested to try it out. It will of course be on Game Pass day 1. But this showcase will likely turn the most heads with the brand new game reveals that should come in the form of a new Doom game called The Dark Ages. Eternal has now been out for 4 years. So it has been working on this more medieval version of Doom for a long time. But while I saw some people speculate that it might come this year, I totally think it's a 2025 title and it should also arrive on both Xbox and PS5 by the way. Gears of War 6 is going to be another big reveal, a big showcase of what Unreal Engine 5 can do and likely also with a 2025 window. And maybe they have something Fallout related. The series had a huge renaissance thanks to the brilliant TV show of course and last year we learned that Bethesda at least at one point was thinking about a Fallout 3 remaster. We know there's a new Fallout 76 region being added soon so I'm sure they will promote that but having the remaster of an old single player game would of course be cool because the next big Fallout title like Fallout 5 is of course very far away still. Would be cool to see other new game reveals but really if you think about it we know what most Xbox teams are working on so I'm expecting many updates on the games that have already been announced instead like Fable would be cool to finally get a good look at gameplay and hopefully a 2025 date. State of the Gate 3 will likely also be there. Rumblings Online are positive, should be a big step up from the second game, so I hope we see gameplay here. And there are rumors that Perfect Dark 
could be at the showcase. And this game is totally high on my list. So I hope it's true and that we see some gameplay and hopefully some sort of release indication. Although I'm not like holding my breath for that. And there will of course also be third parties. Dragon Age Dreadwolf should be revealed this summer. So high chance it's at the Xbox show. And last year Ubisoft showed the Star Wars Outlaws for the first time at the Xbox show. So maybe they have something for Outlaws again or Assassin's Creed Shadows. Ubisoft already confirmed that we have to tune in on the June 10th for the gameplay of Assassin's Creed Shadows. But as you might know, for Mirage last year, they surprised us with a gameplay trailer before the Ubisoft Fort. So maybe they will do that again for Shadows. So I would say try and make it to every live reaction for Summer Game Fest that we do. Links to those in the pinned comment. So that if the Assassin's Creed Shadows gameplay trailer drops before Ubisoft Fort, you'll be watching it with us. It will be a good time. And of course, now let's look at what else is there at Ubisoft Fort and of course the Summer Game Fest kickoff show. If you like the video so far, leaving a like would really help me out, so thanks for that. And subscribe for way more coverage on a Summer Game Fest. So yes, the big thing at the Ubisoft Fort on June 10th is the Assassin's Creed Shadows gameplay walkthrough. For Mirage, this provided a really nice 7 to 8 minute look at the game. So I totally expect at least something like that for Shadows as well. Will already be great to see what the graphics look like as the first PS5 and Xbox Series only game. And of course how both Yasuke and Naue differ in terms of playstyle. I really hope they show a nice stealth portion with the new Splinter Cell like mechanics. Like I really can't wait for this gameplay reveal and we'll be going to LA as well. But I can't say much more. But... It's going to be good, so keep it locked to the channel. Seems like Assassin's Creed Shadows is the final thing they will show, because that is also when we get Twitch drops for Assassin's Creed, including a pretty cool armor set for Valhalla and a new trinket for Assassin's Creed Shadows. The image for the Assassin's Creed Shadows trinket sadly is not correct, of course, but yeah, still cool to get another item. We will be streaming on Twitch, link to that will be in the pinned comments, so watch there and you can get these items. After 30 minutes of watching our Ubisoft Ford reaction on Twitch, you get the Trailblazer trinket for Star Wars Outlaws, so that is likely when we see brand new gameplay for that game. I still think the gameplay we saw last year looked very impressive, so I hope this gameplay looks great as well. Hopefully we see multiple planets and some open world activities. Like I'm really curious how the open world will kind of work in this game. They have a pretty cool faction system where you can choose to go with one or the other. The game is already out on August 30th. So I'm expecting a big blowout at Ubisoft Fort. And yes, we can really use those Twitch drops to see that next to the Ubisoft live service games. That will of course be talked about. We will also get new info on the Avatar Frontiers of Pandora DLC. I'm expecting the first of the two expansions to already drop in like July and then the other one later in the year. I'm sure we will hear the release dates and I hope the gameplay can convince me to come back to the game when those DLCs come out. There's also a Prince of Persia The Lost Crown a story expansion planned. I hope we see that here as well. Although don't hold your breath for the remake of Sense of Time that still seems far away. Just like Beyond Good and Evil 2 whatever is going on with that game. Also don't expect Far Cry 7 and the new Ghost Recon those seem to be planned for 2025 so I don't think they will reveal them here I do think though that there could be a surprise at the end a one more thing and I really think that Splinter Cell is the only potential option for that and a likely one in a way like in December 2021 Ubisoft confirmed that a remake of the first game entered development at the studio that was responsible for Far Cry 6. I did some digging though and if we look at the LinkedIn from the lead producer we see that he actually already started in July 2021. So three years ago. And that's a pretty long time for a remake because three years is also the time that Ubisoft spends on some of their open world titles. With Assassin's Creed Shadows now being made in four years and that's a brand new game. Like I think an early 2025 window for this game makes a ton of sense. That would be almost four years since they started. And that would mean that we get a proper reveal at this Ubisoft Fort. Because it's the final Ubisoft Fort where they could actually show it. Now fingers crossed that it happens. This of course just a prediction. And first we have the Summer Game Fest kickoff show on June 7th. It will be two hours long and have some new game reveals with of course one of the most notable ones being the next iteration of one of 2K's biggest 
and most beloved franchises. I talked about it before in the Sunday video, but this could be Bioshock, Borderlands. I saw some people speculate it might be Civilization, but that would be a huge letdown. Let's hope it's not that. The signs point towards this being a first look at the new Mafia though, so that would be really awesome. Remember that LEGO Horizon game I talked about before as well? Well, it's seemingly ready to be revealed, so high chance we see it on June 7th. I think because it's going multi-platform, that's why it skipped the state of play. So that is also coming to PC, maybe even Switch, alongside PS5. Press have bookings to see an unannounced Sony title during Summer Game Fest weekend, which is very likely this game, although... I would be open to be surprised and see it be something else. We will see. But yeah, mostly the Summer Game Fest kickoff show gives us updates on big already announced games through new trailers. Like Monster Hunter Wilds will get a new trailer with another new monster reveal. Next to the trailer we of course already saw at the State of Play. And I hope we get a release date. Early 2025 is the prediction. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is still planned for 2024 and Jeff Keighley confirmed that there will be a brand new look at the game during the show, so I'm excited for that, should be gameplay. Black Myth Wukong's PlayStation Store page just went up with the August 20th date. Coincidence? Probably not, so high chance during Summer Game Fest we get a new trailer which will then open the pre-orders and then the marketing I think will really begin for this very promising looking action RPG. Rumors suggest that another Asian title, Phantom Blade Zero, is also planned to drop a new trailer on the same day as Summer Game Fest, so likely during the show. Would be fun to see that game again. Expect a release date for the first Descendant, the free to play RPG shooter from Nexon at the event. A first look at the DLC for Ellen Wake 2. And another look at Metaphor, the new medieval style game from the Persona Makers should also be at Summer Game Fest. But yeah, we also learned about some titles that will not be there. So Metal Gear Solid Delta is seemingly still getting an announcement, but it should not be at the Summer Game Fest kickoff show. Also, Kingdom Hearts 4 will not be there. No surprise here, but I wanted to say it. It has been confirmed that GTA 6 won't be at this show. Wolf Among Us 2 also won't be at the show. Judas as well. All the Sega Legacy titles that were announced during Game Awards won't be here. Anything Five Nights at Freddy's won't be here. Maybe not a surprise, but Half-Life 3 will also not be here. The new game from Joseph Ferris, the creator, of course, behind It Takes Two, will not be at Summer Game Fest. Likely at the Game Awards, though, because it seems to be planned for early 2025. And yeah, we have Amazon Games on the partner list as well, but we now learned that they are planning to reveal a New World expansion during the show. So that is probably why they're there. Sadly, not for the Tomb Raider game. I hope I'm wrong though. And Warner Bros will likely do some multiverse stuff because we learned, thanks to Greg Miller on a podcast, that he heard from an insider that the Wonder Woman game is not doing really well behind the scenes. So that's likely why we have not seen it after that 2021 reveal trailer. So don't hold your breath, it will likely not be at the Summer Game Fest event, very sadly. Of course, let me know what you hope to see at Summer Game Fest in the comments down below. Again, we will be covering everything here, subscribe. I will be in LA as well, so bringing you some good stuff. A like would really help me out. And check out my previous video with all the biggest gaming news of the week by clicking on the screen. I will speak to you very soon, goodbye.